So there was a few questions uh, following my talk on choosing a template for Thrive Architect, and it was about templates. Uh, and I think it was specifically for pages, so I'll talk about this in this video. If uh, if you have questions about you know templates for blog posts or for other elements, uh, let me know. I'll record some other videos so we can add it to to this. So by default, this is so this is the Rhyceme. It's a demo site. Uh, by default, on a page, you'll have the uh, the title of the page uh, will be there. Then you will have the content. So it's, so this is the content up to here. And then we've got the footer here. And then at the top, we have the header. So this is the typical layout of a page in WordPress. And Rise, the Rise team from Thrivefim uses the same general layout as well. So it keeps the, the header, the footer, and then um, it, it defines its own styling. So what can we change and what can we not change uh, with this basic template? So it's very basic. Uh, there are a few elements. So if we go in uh, the page, so that's the editor of the page, and this is the uh, the WordPress editor. So this is where we set the name, we set the, the date, the published date, and you see here the template is a default template. So we can set a featured image. Uh, that's one of the options, and that's pretty much it. We can set a title, and that's for a page, that's pretty much the uh, standard features. Uh, if you have Yoast SEO, then you can set some Yoast SEO. This is a demo site, it's not installed, uh, but that's pretty much the, the extent of the template by default. There are a few things we can do is this featured image, uh, we can set it to show yes or no. So. Uh, Right now it's set as not no featured image, but we can set it as a thumbnail. And if I click update and go back to the page, then we see here the image is showing. So the featured image is quite nice to have. One advantage, if, if you share this page on Facebook, this featured image will be shared, will be the one shared. So it is a definitely of a benefit to, to have this set. A lot of people don't set this featured image for pages. They might do it for posts, but this is an option. And if you set it, uh, it will show as, uh, as the image on uh, social networks. Uh, so you could set it to thumbnail. You could set it to wide as well. And then it will show the image full wide like this. So those are some of the options. The page title, we could hide it. And then if, so here we see the page title and then it just hides it completely. So maybe you want to write the title by yourself and have a special font or special color or something to override the default. So in this case, that's where it would be the case where you would want to hide uh, this. So. Uh, maybe in, maybe sometimes you don't want to show the featured image, but you want it to be there. So on social networks, uh, they'll have an image, so it's uh, it's better for social networks. Uh, there is something called the breadcrumbs as well. So you we could enable this, and the breadcrumbs is this thing. So that's part of the Rise theme. Most I believe most of the themes from Thrive Themes have this breadcrumbs. I'm not sure. Don't take me uh, on this, but. Uh, uh, have a look if if the feature first if you want a feature and uh if it's available but i know the rise do have this um, breadcrumb so it's basically the the uh, hierarchy of of the page uh, so those are some of the elements uh this i don't use a focus area this is a part of the first generation of thrive themes options custom code probably you won't you don't want to do this you can do it in um, thrive architect itself and social media, you could override the image here. Uh, that's another option. So you could actually not have it there and just have it there. Uh, again, if you use Yoast, there's probably better uh, options in Yoast as well. So uh, I would probably use Yoast for this. Uh, so in general, that's what you can do. You could, if I come back here, uh, you could have a sidebar for pages. And I'll show you how to do this here. It's one of the options. It's not everybody has it, but you could. So if you go to the widget and the page sidebar right now, there's nothing. And I could put, uh, for example, let's say a text element. And see. 
and put some text in there and if I go back to the page then we have a sidebar that appeared and then the the, the text will you know adjust itself uh, so it fits like this so the image sometimes so it will fit within that frame because there is a sidebar so that's a again a WordPress feature uh, so those are the default template uh, formatting uh, on top of that if you could change the font uh, through the theme and uh, that's an option uh, if you want uh, to change the header font, the header colors, you could do that as well through CSS. So if you're not familiar with the CSS, you could hire a designer or coder, uh, and it's pretty quick to do. Uh, it's just a matter of inspecting. Uh, so I'll just briefly show you how we, we do this. We inspect the code, and then we look here. And uh, it's a real-time thing. So uh, let's say with the font weight, we want it to be less than I can say 300 uh, then it's it's less bold and I take this I I paste it in the theme option and literally it took 30 seconds to do some of the things are definitely more difficult depending on what we want we we could go and just so you know so say color and then say uh, green just so it's visible and then we see that the color is green um, so very easy to do once we know CSS um, and then we just paste that and then globally every time there's a heading to it's green and then we could say h3 is always a different color uh, so it's just an example maybe we want to stay within our themes but something that uh, is quite easy so in a nutshell that's the default template of the theme uh, and it's you know uh, quite quite easy to change if but there are definitely cases where if you have and i'll show you an, another case um of, for example this is a service page i'll remove this because now my layout is different so this is a page so it's a more advanced page there's a bit more design so this a service page there's two images there with some title there and then there's you know headers subheaders some paragraph contact us and then here so again we have two other images on the other side and then this so if let's say you would have 100 services on your in, you know in your company and then you ha this is the default template and then in the future you say oh maybe I don't want two I want one image then it definitely gets more complex and you don't want to go one by one on every page and remove one of the image then you need to use what we call custom fields and it does involve more uh, programming and coding and and planning ahead so again so the more simpler it is the easier it is to implement and then if you have something a bit more complex and we have to think about it as designers or, or coders and and you know think okay there's gonna be two image there to start with that's my primary service and maybe that's my you know add-on service uh, so if you have cases where it's really you know advanced a bit more advanced templates where you have multiple images or, or different orders of things then we need to create custom fields uh, and then create custom templates for that so uh, that would be required if if your template is something like this with with a lot of different elements and this is even more advanced and then uh, that's something that I would need to sit down with the client and and uh, have a discussion on what will be dynamic and what will be changed from page to page and that might require some advanced um, coding and it's not something usually something like this is for a home page and we don't want to necessarily uh, change it and reuse it uh, but uh, uh, you know it, it could be possible it really depends on what you want to be changed uh, so I'm not going to go in more details if if so but if if you're thinking about your pages and they're very simple then yes some of the things like the font the colors can be changed globally in in one go little things like the, the little line there was was done in CSS very simple um, but there are things that might not be easy to change so if you if you're if you plan to create 100 200 500 pages with with the style and you're wondering am I going to be able to change it in the future ask your designer uh, before you start to make sure that it's easy to change otherwise again it's 
I, th I think it's worth it because uh, it will save you uh, work down the road. Uh, but yeah, ask a, a designer or a coder uh, what's possible and what's not. Because what I said about funds, uh, you might have a different ways of thinking about it. Uh, and it really depends on what you have as well. So uh, always ask a designer uh, before you, you start on big projects uh, just to make sure you, it avoids uh, work in the future. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.